Okay, so we're back. Um, we killed the wyvern, and now we have to collect food for this ominous food package for the animals in Bee City. Um, yeah, this is the last bit that I already played on my own, so um, I might speed this up a little because collecting everything is kind of tedious, especially with all the interruptions. Yeah, so I think I'll just I'll just skip to the last chicken. Okay, so we got all the eggs. Now, potatoes. I'll also speed this up. Oh shit, I keep just, sorry, I just keep skipping this stuff. You basically just said, yeah, I got all the potatoes for the food delivery. Now the water, it's pretty simple. Okay, so now this is... I played up to this point um, when I tried it out and I died on the next map <laughs> because... Okay, so... Orange blossoms. Got it. Oh boy, <laughs> this kind of reminds me of Pokemon. Oh, I think I'm honestly just gonna run for it. No, shit. Ah. Uh. Okay, this obviously isn't working. <laughs> I thought I can flee, but I can't even flee, so. Okay. All right, so I need to find a way to to regenerate first. How can I do that? Maybe I can can I sleep or something? I'm honestly worried. What if this game has a broken like is broken in some way? Because then I could never finish it. Kind of sucks. You can't. You can't even. You know, just Google something like Google how to heal. Okay. Maybe this is gonna give me some more armor. Yeah. Oh man, I, I really need some some healing spells or something. Oh, here we go. Wow, this is really interesting. She 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 thought of that. I like that. So, should I use it now? I think I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use it right away. I'm gonna 
head to the monster meadow first. Maybe I'm gonna search the basement as well because I might need more than just one healing potion. Pretty sure there's something here. Oh, here's a mirror. So there was just one healing potion. I, I really have to. I really have to make this one count. I think. encounters are like randomly generated. Oh boy. What's this super art? I can't even use it. Oh well that's that's good. Oh no. Oh wow, <laughs> good lucky. Trying to hold on to my health potion as long as possible because it's the only one I have. Um, this one. Maybe I should use it now. I think. Oh man. Okay, this seems to be the plan. do I need? I think like... Oh! Two healing powers. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna use... Should I... No, I can still... Okay. okay I think I can overwrite this one now. I don't really, I don't know if this... Like, I'm, I'm really... I was really looking forward to playing this today. <laughs> Even though... Oh boy. Oh, okay. So that wasn't so smart. Okay, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna edit this part out. Okay, so I gotta level up. Is that good? Skill. figured out how this works yet. I don't think there's any more... Shit. There's just so many monsters. I wish I could just use my, my super alt all the time, but I don't think I can. I don't understand how this works. Technic, that's new. Okay. Raven's Blade. So this is a new skill I just learned. Man, did she make all this? I think this is, this is very interesting. Okay, so this also uses... Okay, so Super Art is probably something you can't use all the time. Okay, but this makes it a lot easier. Let's 
Still, I'm, I'm very worried. Please, no more bosses. Okay, how many do I need? I forgot. One shot them. This, by the way, this means uh, this the attack. The name of the special attack is uh, Raven's Blade. I really don't like this mission. What was she thinking? It's like monsters everywhere. Oh, interesting. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, that's the girl from the other storyline. Okay. Oh, she speaks. wondering if if this whole um hardboiled wonderland book in the um girl's library or in i think kite was his name in kite's library if that's like foreshadowing because for those of you who haven't read it it's been a while but i think hardboiled wonderland also deals with uh, separate realities or parallel parallel realities Yes, of course. Doesn't work. Oh, so she saw me. That's very interesting. Oh no, she disappeared. Well, that was very interesting. <laughs> I mean, say what you want, but this is very interesting storytelling. Especially for a 17-year-old girl. Or 18. Please let this be the last one. No. So you know what I think? This is either unbalanced, because it's very difficult, Oh, this is very well balanced, you know, the way there are like three healing potions and you can, you know, barely make it through any fight, like, basically, I... Ugh. Basically, I think this is... Good game design, oh no. Oh shit. Okay, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna reload. To just avoid this encounter. It's just. Yeah, I'm just gonna die now. Yeah. Or rather, I'm gonna vanish. Okay, so now I am going to 
just really try to stick to the road to find all the... I don't want to use it yet. Find all the herbs. No! Oh, I can flee. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> oh, this makes this a lot more enjoyable. I'm just gonna flee. Why would I? No! Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, but I'm just gonna flee flee all these encounters. I'm gonna use my use up my healing potion now, and then I'm gonna flee all the encounters because they're I just can't afford it. So let's do. I don't want to overwrite overwrite her save. Oh, here we go. Very good. I wish I remembered how many herbs I need, but I think it was something like five. No, still not enough. Flee. Maybe there aren't any on the... So there's going to be another one here. I wonder if this... this... Holy shit. Oh fuck, this is very... This is very... So this is very weird, okay? Um, so I'm obviously gonna, I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna blur out this picture and this name, but this is someone she knew. I'm not gonna say from where because I don't want this to be personal or anything. But I'm still gonna translate this. Maybe did she make this? Did she make this before her illness? Did she make this before she? Everything happened. Ah. Huh. So I guess this guy whom I won't name, I'm, I, he must have played this game if she made a version for him. But she even said that the balancing is very bad, so... Yeah, I can really use these.
Ah, okay. Oh man, this is fucking bizarre. <laughs> Jesus, this is so weird. Well, that was uh, something. I don't think I'm gonna use these. Uh... Okay, I think I can overwrite this. I don't think I'm gonna use the the cheat book she she made. I'm just gonna use this potion for now. But yeah, so you can just go back and sleep. That was a very, very bizarre moment just now. I can't really explain why, because, like, to protect that person's privacy, but it was very weird. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure she put this in back in uni. I don't think this was... I don't think this was added in her like final build of the game. Okay, so I don't think there's there are any herbs here, so Okay. So I just found another secret area after like 20 minutes of avoiding fights, fleeing from fights, almost getting a full level up, I found <laughs> the last uh, the second area and I'm just gonna shamelessly cheat well at least here's a chest so oh boy Oh man, <laughs> she really, really overdid it with these fights. Yes. I think there was all of them, right? Or was it six? Yeah. Phew. So what now? Interesting. So now we get to see what a town looks like or a city. Oh no, we're back in the other timeline. How does he know my teddy bear's name? Wait, so the name I gave the teddy bear is her name too?
It's really interesting how he sometimes, you know, I imagine him as like, yeah, I imagine him as like quite soft-spoken, the way he, like very eloquent and soft-spoken, but then he sometimes just erupts, which is really interesting. Interesting character. I find it really interesting how they always give you a choice. I'm not sure what would, what would happen if I were to like shake my hat, but obviously I'm gonna nod.
Hmm. Oh, interesting. <sighs> I would really like to play, keep playing, but I think I'm gonna call it a night for now. Um, I feel like I should say something profound, but honestly, I just can't think of anything. I talked to another friend today who hadn't heard the news yet this morning and who hadn't been in touch with her for quite some time. And yeah, that was very strange. She would often do that, you know, like she would often just break off all contact, like very respectfully. But but I think she did that twice during our friendship, like twice she just said that she doesn't want contact anymore. Like she, so in the early days of our friendship, I mean, not the early days, like we knew each other for what, I think 10 years, yeah. and. She would always make like these incredibly thoughtful presents, actually. Um, <laughs> maybe that's a bit personal, but she always she always gave uh, gave me like these. Um, what do they call like? Um, I don't sure. No, they're not shonen. Shonen. I think it's shonen eye mangas. It's like the love stories between two boys, but you know, not super sexual or anything. Um, I always thought it was very funny. <laughs> Um, no, but she always gave me like, yeah, she was very thoughtful when it came to presents and all that. And then at some point, I think that was back in 2016, she just kind of wrote to all of us. Like we were this circle, like four friends, basically, who um, I would say, well, regularly hang out with each other. And um, as far as I know, she would just kind of, she, she, she told... Each of us, like, she doesn't want co um, contact with us anymore. Like, there's something, something happens and she, she needs her space or something. And um, so, yeah, that's what we, what we did. Like, we didn't have a lot of choice and she, she wasn't explaining anything, anything. And um, it's kind of funny because I still had my Christmas present for her. That must have been sometime in fall or something. And I had my Christmas present with, for her, which was... Um, Oh, what's it called? It's a book by Terry Pratchett and Steve May Baxter. New World or something. It's it's also about parallel worlds. It, she she was quite fascinated by that by that topic, and yeah, and I I didn't get a chance to to give it to her until last year when we reconnected. Yeah. She also gave me her Christmas present from that time. Yeah. Well, on that note, um, I'm not trying to sound deep or anything. It's just kind of thinking about stuff. Um, but yeah, that 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 moment when just uh, when like this other guy I knew suddenly popped into the screen, <laughs> I was very um, that really really shocked me. But it seems like this was from like her early university days. I'm not really sure. Kind of sounds like her old self. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, yeah, not really sure when I'm even going to upload the first episode because I obviously need some editing and translating. So yeah. Um, see you next time, I guess.